Morning folks, second day of spring, and we got snow. Can't really tell it right now, but there's still snow in the sky. It made it enough to where it's just miserable. It's cold too, and I haven't changed. I'm still in my PJs. Um, I really don't care. Chickens seem to really be uh, liking their their little coop. Um, they've both been laying again. Give them a nesting box, they're gonna lay. Uh, went yesterday. I picked up a feeder and a water for them just to make their make it a little bit cleaner. Um, it is a small area, and they get scratching and they get stuff in it. So I'm probably gonna hang up the water too. It's down on the ground, and we'll get dirty. Kind of the cool thing about this is it it's movable uh we just got it strapped down so something don't try to dig under it and get them or anything like that one of the good things is too we we got dogs and dogs keep everything pushed back um old boo he's he's pretty uh he's pretty courageous he'll he'll bark at them coyotes he don't chase them but he'll go out there and bark at them and so here comes more snow Drove down here last night, my little tractor, and I got a flat. So I'm gonna have to take that tube out and patch it, or I think I'm gonna try the green slime first. Uh, it does have a tube in it. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. I don't know if that rim is, uh, if I can do a, a uh, tubeless in it, I don't know. I don't know if we'll get anything else done today or not, but at least I got the animals fed. I'm gonna get back inside, have another cup of coffee. Maybe I'll do some editing. Maybe I'll read a book. Um, these are the days that build patience. It's cold. Uh, maybe it'll warm up here after a while. Generally, in the spring, by about 10 o'clock, it gets a little better, unless it keeps snowing. We've got a big front over top of us right now, so it's it's kind of nasty, overcast. Uh, it uh, it's just too too ugly today. Um, when you ain't got to, uh, ain't no sense in trying to catch pneumonia. <laughs> it's cold. It's about it's probably about 20, 25 degrees with the wind. Um, and yeah, we've worked out in days like that, but you ain't got to. You ain't got to. We ain't really got nothing going on. The sun's about to peek through. It's trying to anyway. So I'm going to get in have another cup of coffee. I might go work on the floor and in the camper. Uh, if it'll just warm up a little bit. Um, it's just, just really cold and there's still snow flying around. It's flurrying. Um, not ideal conditions for saws and generators and that sort of thing. Plenty of projects to do. Just not sure if we're going to get them done today. Hi, right, folks. It warmed up a little bit. Not much. But I am going to finish this little project right here on this floor. And maybe get the stove positioned and start working on it. I also have a bed to build right here. Um, I got to build a queen size bed in here. Going to make it to where we can store stuff under it. In a small, tiny place like this, you have to maximize storage. So I've got to build that. How much I'll get done today is anybody's guess. Uh, sometimes 
I just get tired. <laughs> and sometimes life gets in the way. People call, things happen. So um, I'm going to get to work on the floor. And Miss Polly will probably be up here in a little bit. She's going to start painting. All right, folks. I got this all laid. All the way back. There was a piece of trim under there. I'm going to leave it out for now until I get the rest of my trim. I got to get a piece of transition right here to transition from this one to that one. And they're almost the same thickness, not quite. But all in all, I think it worked out real well. Um, it was kind of hard to do in here, but I think with trim and everything, conking, it's going to look real nice. And it kind of cleaned up this area here. This area right here was just, it was just podunk, um, to say the least. This floor is not great. I would almost like to just go all the way across with it. But, unfortunately, we don't have the money for that right now. So, um, it's as easy as taking out that one strip and then just continuing on, uh, which I could, I could really do. I've got one box and two pieces left. So, now I'm going to see about getting the stove situated, what I need to do with that. Um, talk to Miss Polly about the bed. Maybe get that laid out. If I can get it laid out, then I'm... I got to get a plan to get on how to build it. I built beds and buses and RVs and stuff before, but I want to make sure that she's she's happy with it. But I am super satisfied with this with this flooring. Uh, it looks real nice. It was inexpensive. Uh, you get six pieces, which is about twelve square feet, for about twenty four dollars. It was a dollar eighty nine a square, roughly. Uh, 12.34 square feet says then on the box or I think it was like 23 and some change so not bad dollar 89 a square foot we picked it up at Sam's it goes together real real good for anybody who's never laid floor before it's uh, super easy to take and take and put down uh, you kind of seen me do it that's all you really need you don't have to nail it down you don't have to glue it down you just start on one wall. You need to put a buffer at the wall because it's supposed to be a floating floor. Put your little buffer, maybe a little piece of trim or even a piece of this flooring behind it, lay it up against it and start laying it and then take that out. Put your trim down and it'll be fine. Particularly on these, these RVs and these, these little tiny trailers, um, they're going to move so you don't want it in there tight. You don't want anything buckling. Uh, so I've got a gap pretty much all the way around. I didn't lay it up tight anywhere. So once the trim goes on, uh, it'll cover all those cracks, all those gaps, and it'll look really nice. So, it's on to the next thing. So, I think those mattresses are like eight inches. That would bring way up here. There's 22. The mattress, the top of the mattress can be good? That's, if it's an eight inch mattress, I think the queens are eight inch like eight inches thick. I guess I'm going to start working on this next. Start putting a bed here. Wow. Rip it down. I think I've got enough plywood to wrap it and put a top on it. I think. I might put the floor on top of it. I'm kind of liking the green. You, you kind of like I don't have any paint to touch it up. I mean, you can take a picture of it real close and take it to the floors. 14 is not going to be much to get down on your knees and get it under there. You want me to just make it open? Just make an open frame? You can just stick stuff under there? Like a, a, a leg here and a leg here, and then you can store stuff up under. You could open and at least split the hallway. You want it covered? Covered. So I could cover the front and leave the leave the bottom open. Mm -hmm. That'd be okay. Okay, I'll try that. Change plans. 
My wife simplified the whole matter. She said, why don't we just get a box of springs and a bed frame? That way it'd be easier for me to... See, I was wanting to be all crafty and build a bed frame. She said, just get a frame, a box of frame. I love her. Made my job a lot easier. Now I can go work on the stove. Because now i got to put down a trim. And just put a bed in here. Thank you, baby. Ah, it's heavy. I think it's got something in it too. I don't know if it sets. It's supposed to sit back on that. What was it supposed to do? I don't think it's supposed to go that far back, uh, is it? It's supposed to be as level as this. Yeah. Like that? Uh oh. Watch out, but. Just cut my fingers off. I could put a piece of trim there. I like that it ain't got glass in it. How far did, would it go, I mean, if it went back? Oh, oh my gosh. See, it won't go over that. I'll put some kind of... You got to bail a box or something. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't work either. So, I mean, count it. They, set it up. they cut this off with a saw. That's what it looks like, don't it? Uh-huh. But that's up against it right there. That's the problem when you buy jacked up stuff. I can put it here. I'll just have to level it off over here and build this up and put some type of trim here that that can sit on that same height. The only other thing I do is put... Remember you wanted a butcher block cabinet? I'm going to tear that one out and put a butcher block in. Would it solve this machine right here? Oh yeah, I could put a butcher block here, bring that butcher block on out. I mean, out. we got... We're 21, so we got four inches. I mean, that I could add. Mm -hmm. Two on that side. I put two on this side. Put a two-inch piece of butcher block here, mm -hmm. and then put the rest butcher block that way, hanging on that. And then I'm pretty sure something's gone here. Yeah. I could build it. Well, folks, I won't be putting the stove in today. <laughs> See how plans change. It's amazing when you don't have money to do things you need to do because then you can just wait and wait and come up with all kinds of ideas. Mm -hmm. So my wife wants a butcher block countertop and then we're going to put the stove in there uh, once we get the butcher block on. And I think they make a backsplash for the butcher block also. Um, I don't think we're going to put the, uh, the fan back in there. Uh, mostly when you're you know trying not to consume power you don't want to have things that just really aren't necessary uh, there's a window right there you can crack if you've got smoke or whatever so we're just going to take and put a light up here and just put some vinyl on the back of the uh, the wall and then just put the stove in there and i'll have to build and frame out that sort of thing but it won't happen today because we're going to need this butcher block we're going to, have to take out the faucet take out the sink put the butcher block in and reconstruct it so that's going to be another day uh, the butcher blocks are somewhere around 200 i think this will be a six foot all needs a six foot piece and a piece of bike splash and we'll tear this all out the doors are not too bad these doors are, they're pretty solid. 
They're wood. Real. They're real wood. Real. So we may just, uh, I don't know, we probably need the drawers, but I may just tear the whole front of it out and then just rebuild it all. Uh, I'll have to see what's, what those drawers are, how they're hooked up, if they're metal or just wood. And I can build the wood ones. Because um, you got to do the front of that too. Right? I got to do the whole front. I got to do the whole front of this anyway, right here. So instead of having two different kinds of, of wood, I may just build the frame up as high as I need it for the butcher block and then fill it in. I'm a pretty fair cabinet carpenter. Used to make a living at it uh, way back in the day. I, I, we built everything for houses, so I can I can take and do it. A little bit of glue, some finished nails, and a good table saw, and I can build a, a fair cabinet. So I think it's what we'll do. We we'll just tear this all out. Just gonna start over. No. Put in a whole new cabinet, but I will reuse the doors and the drawers, um, and I'll just have to measure. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. Um, it's going to prolong this project. <laughs> uh, if it prolongs it very much longer, I'm going to bring a, my camp stove up here and we're just going to move in anyway. Now, I can't do that because when you're doing projects like this, you got to have it to where you can work. And having stuff in here is not going to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tools and all. Tools and stuff like that. All right. Well, I got the floor done today. We've talked about what we're going to do, and I'm kind of at a standstill until... Shopping. Yeah, she says that word. Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> I like spending money, too. That's about it, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Pray hard. Stay strong. Right on.